Hello, I'm Jose Sosadia. The Tucson Unified School District could vote to change its mask mandate policy. At a board meeting later today, the board meeting is expected to start at 2.30 p.m. We'll have a link to stream the meeting on our website, kega9.com. Marana Unified School District says it will still provide daily meals to all children over the upcoming break. It's through a program called Marana Cares Mobile. It was created using a retired school bus to bring free nutritious meals during school breaks at two locations. You can see their address here on your screen. The program will run all next week starting Monday. All right, save the dates for Tucson's Festival of Books. The big event returns to the U of A's campus this weekend after going digital last year because of pandemic concerns. Crews already busy preparing the mall leading up to Saturday, as you can see the tents. On top of getting to meet big authors like V.E. Schwab, Craig Johnson, and J.A. Jantz being right there, you'll find April, Lydia, and myself and other members of the Kega 9 team at our very own Kega 9 booth. We'd love to see you there. We're taking a look at gas prices this morning in the Old Pueblo. We checked triple A to see the averages. They are up about 20 cents from just yesterday. The average for a gallon of regular is 426 in Tucson. Then for mid grade 447 a gallon and premium 472 diesel. We're looking at 467 in the Tucson area. And this morning, northbound Granada from Congress down to St. Mary's Road will be closed. It's part of the Tucson Delivers Better Streets project. This stretch of Granada will be repaved while it is closed. It is expected to reopen by the end of March. And a check on your weather. Sunny and unseasonably cool again today. Those strong winds coming back Thursday, bringing a chance for showers by late Thursday night into early Friday. High pressure this weekend into early next week will allow those temperatures to warm back up to near or above our seasonal norms.